Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and today we are playing Dragon Ball Z, the new video game, Kakarot. And now I hope you all enjoy this uh, gameplay, smash like button, post notifications. And yesterday was my birthday, so you can wish me happy birthday, you don't have to, I'm 18 years old today. And where's, I can't have the volume on. Voice, sound effects, video. There we go. Now. Okay. Yes. Oh my god, the stupid settings. Come on. I want to get copyrighted here. Okay, we got that all taken care of. Um, this is Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, and you know what? I'm gonna start a new game for you guys, cause um, I want to. So yeah, this is Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Hope you all enjoyed the first episode. Woohoo! Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. And yeah, I just bought this last night, so let's get rolling and plus i got other games like title to um batman game we can play or uh life is strange too but we gotta take out the music because i can get copyrighted and i can get in trouble um you all know the drill so let's do this Woo! dragon ball z kakarot in the world that exists seven mysterious crystal miss nah you can't read your boy's done. Go on. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, he's like so innocent too. Let me ask you guys a question. Why don't we see this in the game, in the, in the show? Like, they... They basically spend quality time with each other. Why like, can't we see this in the game? I mean, the movie. But hey, it's cute though when they're spending time with each other. Piccolo, of course. <laughs> Oh yeah, let's go, boy. Our first fight. Well, I already defeated him, but still. LT guard, burst, move. Move him down, boost, super boost. Charge key, charge key, blast, meal, meal attack. Step, down, uh, cancel, lock, target lock, pause. Okay.
Mm-hmm. He didn't even do shit to me. Didn't do nothing. Oh yeah, let's get it. Stop the Saiyan invasion. Okay. The boy Son Goku defeated the demon King Piccolo who blotted a world domination five years has passed since his victory. But if Piccolo wanted to uh, destroy Earth, he could have done it, but he didn't. Dropped the whole uh, Dragon Ball franchise, so... Apparently he came out as a good guy. It says, uh, I forgot, dang it, I keep forgetting that guy's name. Everyone mostly forgets him throughout the series. But well, he died right in the beginning of the Dragon Ball Z series, that's why. <laughs> Not much longer before this planet's out. It would have been ours much sooner if you'd actually done your job, rabbits. Uh, sorry. And that's why everyone calls you Raditz the Runt. Things will be different on the next planet. <laughs> Mark my words, if you screw up again, I will kill you. Wait, I just remembered something. I think my little brother Kakarot was sent to a different planet. I'll bet he's still there. You have a brother? I didn't think there were any Saiyans left besides us. If he joins us, the rest of the universe will be ours in no time. The fact that he's your brother doesn't exactly fill me with confidence. What planet was he sent to? Uh, I think it's called Earth. Uh-oh. Sorry. Right. I think about it, I haven't heard anything about him taking control of it. Damn that Kakarot, what the hell is he doing? Sorry, when there's cutscene, I try to stay quiet so you guys can hear. Attack of the Saiyans. Getting a bit carried away, Gohan. I was fighting somebody super strong. Super strong? Yeah, a guy going by the name of Piccolo. Like a pickle. Get it? <laughs> Piccolo? Yeah, well, he used to be called Demon King Piccolo, and he was real bad to the bone. He's the strongest guy I've ever fought in my whole life. I don't think anybody's. Until Frieza that. came yeah, along. I want to fight him again. So I'm hoping to get stronger. And but Prince soon. Vegeta, of course. My favorite Dragon Ball Z character. I'd be afraid to fight someone like that. <laughs> you know, I bet you'd be just fine if you trained yourself up a bit. I don't think Mom would like that very much. Ah, that's right. I wonder if you guys can hear the audio okay. I, I uh, try to turn it up and I can't add the, mu add the music to this game. Because, first of all, it's copyright on YouTube and I could get seriously in no no trouble, so... Yeah, sorry. I know it's the whole part of the game, but I can't have the music on there. It's like... I don't know why. But it ruins the game for me because I really like the music on there, but... Eh. I totally forgot it's better than getting in trouble. Get some for her. It's better than not... Better than, that? You know what's better? Than not... Than ha not ha to have your channel deleted. Cause that's YouTube can do that, so like that's why I like try to take out the music or go to into settings and block off the music. So I hope you guys understand, and YouTube you understand too. Cause like I'm not a very good editor. I don't know how to take out the music out of the game, and I just went into settings and take it off. So I hope it's okay. Uh, think. What all did she need again? Oh. Uh... I think she wanted some fish and apples, Dad. 
Oh, yeah, right. Let's just see if we can't find us some apples around this place. Gohan sure is full of energy. Mm -hmm. Don't get too excited and trip over your own speed. Now, where did that son of mine run off to? Safe to say he couldn't have gone that far. Whee! Say he couldn't have gone that. Let's try to find. Leave it to me. Yeah, looks like he's having a blast. Oh, he's cute. Hey now, don't go wandering too far. some fish and then head straight home okay but first we need to find a spot to fish okay don't walk too fast you got it try to keep up though yeah yeah Need to go together. Come on, go on. We're almost there. Huh? Go on? Where do you run off to? Yeah. Huh? What's wrong, go on? to trick your old man. <laughs> You're one spoiled kid, you know that? So, what do you want to be when you grow up? Hmm. Um, I want to become a great scholar. What? You're a weird one, aren't you? <laughs> well, I definitely can't help you with your studies or anything like that. But if you're ever looking to toughen up, I'm your man. No. Uh... Fighting is too scary for me. Come to think of it, this is your first time fishing, isn't it? Yep, it is. All right, then let me show you how I used to do it back when I was your age. It'll be fun. I'm pretty sure there's a good spot somewhere right around this place. We should be able to catch something here. Let's get started. But what are we going to fish with? We don't have any rods. <laughs> Nobody said anything about a rod, did they? Who needs one of those pesky things when you've got a tail? My, my tail? I can use that to fish? 
Yep. By dipping your tail in the water, you can feel the fish moving around. Pretty neat, huh? It's really easy once you get the hang of it. I mean, I haven't done it in a while since I don't have a tail anymore. But when I told my friend Bulma about it, she actually made me a makeshift tail to fish with. <laughs> can you believe it? <laughs> nice. Oh, okay. So what do you say? Let's catch us some fish. Chicho flip when she sees this one. Man, all this fishing is really working up an appetite. You know what I mean? Let's eat some of these fish. I mean, we got plenty. Yeah, uh, I'm a little hungry too. <laughs> Let's roast our catch over the fire. What do you say? I'm hungry for some grilled fish. Yeah. some fresh fish in your belly? Ugh, I think I ate too much, though. Well, if you want to be as big as your dad, you're going to have to eat a lot of this stuff. <laughs> right. I had fun today, Dad. You know, I had fun today, too. Thanks for your help. I'll teach you how to fish next time so we can do it together. Okay. I can't wait. Pretty strong if you train. I, I don't think so. <laughs>
been riding this old thing since I was just a little kid. Only those with a pure heart can ride it. That explains why you've got no problems there. Yeah, this is fun. really go for some food right about now. Hey, Chi-Chi, we're back! Goku, it shouldn't have taken you so long to gather ingredients. Yeah, sorry about that. We did some training, too. You're supposed to introduce Gohan to Master Roshi and the others today. Wait, that's today? Of course. Uh, sorry about that. I promise I'll remember next time. Forget it. What are you waiting for? Get in here. I need to get cooking right away. Then I'll just take these ingredients and whip you up something tasty. Where are you off to now, Dad? I'm going to see Master Roshi, my old master. His place is surrounded by the sea. It's loads of fun. Oh, yeah. I can't wait, Dad. This 
is the stone me and Krillin used in our training. Me and him had to hunt this thing down. Krillin beat me then, but only because he cheated. I had to go hungry that night. <laughs> We're off to see Master Roshi. Wait a second. Are you forgetting something, Goku? I thought you had something for Gohan. Oh yeah, that's right. Wow, what a neat little ball. That little ball on top there? It's a Dragon Ball. I got it from my grandpa after he died. But that's not all you got from him. You were also named after him. Really? Oh my, go on, look so handsome. It'll be like he's watching over you whenever you wear that hat. So take real good care of it, okay, Gohan? Yeah, I will. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad. All right, we're leaving for real this time. Goku, don't let anything happen to our little Gohan. And Gohan, be on your best behavior. I will, Mom. You both home by supper, you got it? Son Goku, the strongest fighter in the world, leads a, ha a happy life at home. With his new family having been blessed with a child. Oh, he didn't even get to read it, it's dang it. There are seven mystical orbs capable of granting any wish when brought together. With them, anything the heart desires can be attained, whether unfathomable riches or absolute power. These mysterious wish-granting orbs are known as the Dragon Balls. And it's around these Dragon Balls that this extraordinary story unfolds, with new challenges and adventures awaiting Goku and his friends at every turn. like? Well, he looks like a feeble old geezer, but he's super strong. Really? Though, it's a real shame he's kind of a massive pervert. Yeah, he was my rival at the time, but now he's my best friend. Is Krillin strong, just like you? Yeah, seriously. Out of all the guys I know, he's definitely up there. There's also a woman I know named Bulma. See, she was looking for the Dragon Balls when she ran into me. And we ended up going on adventures together. If we hadn't done that, I probably wouldn't have met Master Roshi and the others. I see. Kami House. Hello. Boma. Krillin. Goku! Yo! Oh, and who's this little guy? Meet my son. What? Your, your son? Yeah. Wild, huh? Nice to meet you. Oh, uh, n nice to meet you too. His name is Gohan. Gohan? Oh, so you named him after your grandpa, huh? Yeah. Suits him, don't you think? Aww. What is in here? What's that?
This is the uniform Master Roshi gave me, Krillin, and Launch to wear. Now there's a house. Such a small house. Goku, have you been training lately? Well, not as much as I want to. Chi Chi gets pretty angry if I train too much, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, I haven't trained myself either. With Piccolo taken care of, things have been pretty quiet. Hey, you two, what are you talking about? Uh, 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 nothing really. Hmm. I could have sworn you two were talking about how you've both been slacking off on your training. I uh, guess there's no fooling you, is there, Master Roshi? It would seem you've both forgotten that training is a daily activity. Not something you do only on special occasions. You should be moving, learning, playing, eating, and resting every day. That's the way of the turtle school. I can't argue with you there. Now, to make sure you two never forget your daily training, I've got a little challenge for you. Come report back to me once you've finished your training. Yes, sir, Master Roshi. Yes, sir, Master Roshi. Now, time to get back to my usual enjoyment. strong if you train. Uh, I don't think so. Greetings. Hey. Huh? Gotta take care of some stuff first. All right, what should I do now? Take care of some stuff first. Yeah. Ah. Nothing for. 
for me over here, I gotta take care of some stuff first. You don't need to head over there. Yeah! <sighs> Looks like that did the trick. Ooh, I don't know what you Quillin, 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 quillin.
power, too. I'm betting that he's pretty strong, if I had to guess. But I can't be sure since Chi-Chi won't let me train him to find out one way or the other. Hope you guys are enjoying the series, guys. We're 43 minutes in so far. this planet can muster? Well, now, here's the large power reading. Distance 4880. The character that we all forgot about. <laughs> why you know why he's like saying, oh, I'm so powerful, me, 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 me. What in the world could that have been? I've never felt a power like this. Piccolo, Piccolo, Piccolo. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure what this is, but I better check it out. Mm. 
This could be fun. We're ready whenever you are. Let's do this. after all. Who the hell are you? I don't have time to waste with you. Wait a minute. This is a Namekian, isn't it? What the hell is a Namekian doing on this planet? If that's true, then what are you even doing here? You got a death wish? <laughs> You've got spunk. I like that. Hmm. A power level of 322, huh? You're definitely stronger than the others, but you wouldn't even be a warm-up for me. You're making a mistake in underestimating me. Let's see if you can make this fun for me. I'm doing something right now. turn now time to show you what real power looks like <clears throat> I'm getting another large power reading that's got to be Kakarot <clears throat> Im impossible who the hell is this guy and where is he going
<laughs> well, if it isn't Kakarot, you've grown. You look just like our old man. What? Tell me, Kakarot. What is this? You were supposed to exterminate all life on this planet. What have you been doing all this time? Huh? Who are you? And who's Kakarot? Should I know who that is? You've got to be kidding me. You don't remember. Fine then. Allow me to refresh your memory. You're not from this filthy planet. You were born on planet Vegeta. You're a member of the proud and mighty warrior race, the Saiyans. And that's not all. I'm your older brother, Raditz. You're lying! That can't be true! Long ago, you were sent to this pathetic planet to rid it of all life. We Saiyans search the universe for habitable planets and wipe out all who live there so that we can sell those planets to the highest bidder. We snot-nosed brats like you are sent to low-level planets like this. And fortunately, it looks like this one's got a moon. If this guy's telling the truth, then these Saiyans are some real bad dudes. Wait. What about the moon? What does that have to do with anything? Don't play dumb with me. We Saiyans release our true power whenever there's a full moon. Even chumps like you should know that. Eh? I don't know what you're talking about. You know, I think Krillin's right. You guys are the worst. My name's Son Goku and I'm from Earth. Take your lies and get out of here. <laughs> well, I couldn't even if I wanted to. Because Planet Vegeta was blown to smoke.